Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Buki here from Quarter Shed. And, uh, well, today is day two. Today marks day two of uh, early Canada goose season. And uh, yesterday I wasn't able to um, uh, to go out because I was uh, procuring um, a good friend of mine's uh, Mossberg 500. And, uh, well, let's get a couple things here straight, quick, quick. Um, Mossberg 500, great, reliable, in fact. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, tomorrow I'll even be able to prove that a little bit further now. Uh, let me take a quick peek here. It's almost 11 p.m. on uh, 2nd September 2014. And, uh, you know, a lot of my videos... I've been doing like gun stuff and outdoor stuff and for the most part it's just me dicking off this is me having fun having a few drinks having a few laughs you know trying to just you know what to do what not to do sort of thing um, this um this video though here yeah, man my dog creeping in my room uh, this video though here um, had an incident today where uh I was about two hours into the hunt, and uh, there's an island that I go to here in Rhode Island, and uh, it's accessible, I take a kayak out, and uh, everything was hunky-dory, made it to the island, didn't see anything, uh, put the binoculars out there, looked around, saw a lot of seagulls, um, did pretty sure about a hundred yards out, a turkey. In a full spread flying. I mean, it was amazing um, to get to see a hawk. Uh, could have been an osprey again, way out there without the use of binoculars. Come straight down, splash in the water, bring up a meal for itself. I saw another one um, feed its uh, hatchling, I guess. You know, came up, I think it had a rabbit. And, uh, I mean, just the absolute pre pleasures. The perks and the pleasures of hunting. Absolutely fantastic. Um, now what I'm getting at here is, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, you know, preparatory to, to, to the hunt. Um, uh, camping. Um, not dying. That's a big one. And, uh, thankfully I'm here today to, uh, make this video a little stressed out unwinding so if you see me take a couple sips here and there man pay no mind because pretty traumatic today um what I did is I'm coming off the island I you know, paddled out I was probably looking at about a quarter of a mile I'm gonna guess around about a quarter of a mile from my point on the island to where I found out was another island um, I had never personally touched down over there. I used to always go by it. And that would be on the border of Massachusetts, which I also have Massachusetts hunting license for uh, small game. So, paddling away. And you know, it's from where I launch, it's a good, it's probably already five miles in. I was tired. You know, I was starting to feel it. And plus, you know, you just want to sit out there and watch the world go by. And maybe, hey, you never know. Canada Goose might pop up and. I could, uh, you know, rebuttal with get in my belly. Um, well, this time around, I, I paddled out, and I probably had about a 60-pound pack on the back of the kayak. I had the Mossberg 12-gauge with a 29-inch barrel with inch and a quarter uh, choke, uh, set for a nice tight group. Um, gun itself weighed well we're gonna go in like the seven and a half pound range diesel it, it, it stuck up out of my cockpit now my kayak is about seven nine I think seven foot nine um, which uh, if any uh, local watches um, anything under ten feet you don't have to register um, anything over ten feet even if it doesn't have a motor, you have to register. So just bear that in mind. And uh, not to mention a small vessel. 
you sacrifice storage for portability and I'm uh, soaking wet 130 pounds so I like to cater to my lightweight needs and essentials like I said I'm sorry I'm like stressing out man but uh so anyway power went out probably got a quarter mile to go I got about an eighth of a mile out and I stopped I took a break you know held up you know on my knees put my uh my paddle up and just took a break man not seconds later some asshole comes ripping by 100 miles an hour in his little fucking 17 foot Starcraft boat whatever with an oversized engine you know just way too much horsepower for whatever you can even possibly think about doing over there you know unless you're trying to get from like here to like California quick I mean really there's no need to have a 150 horse engine on a 17 foot boat by the time I turned around and saw him he was already down there and I looked back to just scan anything I could scan I mean obviously I'm going to be heightened my kayak went sideways because the tide was uh, it was changing from high to low so the wave took me I was facing my island my next island and it took me turned me towards you know transitioned me heading back towards the island I was I came from pardon me damn dog loving to death but what a pain in my balls um so it transitioned me back towards the island whence I came. Dare I speak old British like and whatnot and doodads. So by that time the wake had hit me. And I remember just looking to my left and going, no. And a boat tipped. And it tipped and I leaned against it but and that second weight came in and it just filled up my cockpit and it flipped me so the first thing I grabbed was 12 gauge now I got the 12 gauge in my hand like so and I'm underwater so I came back up no problem right I mean Fuck all that noise, man. I'm not, I wasn't scared. I didn't panic. I didn't freak out. I didn't go, oh my God, life is over. No. But now what? I got a boat that's upside down. 60 pound kit. All my licensing, my IDs. Everything, man. Pretty much everything was in that cockpit. Lost my, uh, my shades that my homeboy gave me from Afghanistan uh... fucking bummer dude like that was the first thing that came to my mind fucking shades are gone my hat I have a boonie cap which I mean if you must where is it <laughs> anyway it was my nephew he gave it to me it was a service cap in Iraq and uh... just me and that boonie have been tight you can see it in my other videos and uh, hat itself has seen, you know, seen some shit. Yeah, it was seen some shit. My hat's gone, my glasses are gone, my boat's upside down, my 12 gauge in my hand, and I'm flailing. I, I can't keep up. You know, I'm being weighed down by a 7 8 pound rifle. I got one hand on the rifle, trying to do like a breaststroke towards the island, the one where I came from trying to do a breaststroke to it and I got the other hand trying to recover the kayak with pretty much all of my worldly possessions and my my survival necessities so I get the kayak underneath I grab the cockpit underneath and I came up and my my kit my backpack the ass end actually it just sat up on I would say 60 degree angle 
and that backpack kept the ass end of the boat floating. So I said, well, the next thing I need to do is like kind of really old grab this thing, come around it, and hug it, and just figure out. My, now, mind you, this whole ordeal took. I don't know, five, ten seconds. So now I come up and got my left hand on the cockpit, come around with the shotgun, and the plan was to hold it with these three fingers, latch on to the other side of the cockpit with these two fingers. When I did that, I dropped it. So, the shotgun is at the bottom of the bay, which I'm gonna, I am gonna try like hell to recover tomorrow. I'm just gonna free dive for it. I'm gonna paddle out there. Low tide is the tide chart. Thank you, lucky bait. Uh, 7:40 a.m. 7:49 a.m. tomorrow morning. It's gonna be fucking cold. So I'm gonna suit up early. Paddle out there. At least I'll have daylight. And, uh, I'm gonna bring just bare essentials. I'm gonna bring, like, 40 ounces of water. Like, literally. 32 ounces of water. I think my, whatever you call it, knee jean, whatever is 32. It's four cups. Four and a little bit, because if you fill it all the way up, it's a little over. Yeah. Take into account for evaporation when you boil it, you know? Um, couple knives um, obviously gonna be wearing a wetsuit I don't know what I'm gonna be wearing for like leggings and shirt and stuff but um that's really it and I have to recover this man it was it's a friend of mine's gun so um I'm gonna monetize this video and hopefully I get enough hits if I don't recover this firearm tomorrow, um, I can buy my buddy a new shotgun. And that's truly like, it was scary, I'm not going to lie, man. Um, it was scary. It took me an hour and a half to go about an eighth of a mile, you know, hanging on to this boat and just kicking my feet. I was doing the, 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 <laughs> the frog stroke. That's some straight Navy SEAL shit. The only difference is, is there would be an instructor waiting for you going, where's your firearm? Well, it's at the bottom of the drink. We'll get your ass back out in the drink and don't you come home until <laughs> you have a shotgun strapped to your back, son. You know, but it was, it was a toss-up. I eat. And you know what? It was, for the most part, a happy ending. Um, I'm okay. I'm tired as fuck tired as fuck man no joke um this all happened only a couple hours ago i'm still kind of like thawing out here man boy am i sore add insult to injury man not only three 3.8 foot waves just nailing me going underwater my boonie cap floated away i did get that back and boy when you hear all these like surviving man tales and they say well when you get that one little bit of psychological boost that helps you're damn right that fucker was about 10 feet away from me and it was floating so don't tell me AC <laughs> ACUs don't do anything right man that thing was floating I kicked my fucking feet over there I recovered that hat and I hung on to that some bitch and that got me to that island and uh hour and 24 minutes because i was going against the tide um and it kind of wanted to i don't want to swing around I drew a picture here i'm trying to like triangulate where i lost this thing but this here would be like a sandbar and i launched out of here so this is only visible in low tide just like chicken beak looking thing and this is where I ultimately ended up so I launched out of here I came over asshole face hit me somewhere over here 
and I dumped within this section and the, the, the current wanted to take me in so that's why I couldn't turn around because it was just no way I was kicking my feet I tried I was kicking my feet and I was going nowhere I was literally at a I was just burning calories so I went towards the next available land source which is something that you if you're ever in the situation you may have to okay I'm right here but if I'm gonna be fighting it go that go the other way you know if there is you don't know what that looks like I was hitting ground and I was like running and then I I hit up and then I have to swim some more and loop and these waves smashing me in the back of the head man I had insult injuries fucking horse fly man kept on harassing me it was oh my god I'm like I, I was talking to it. I was so pissed. I'm like, you're lucky I don't have my shotgun because I would lose this kayak to fucking blow you out of the sky right now, you little jerk. But he did. He got me. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why did that thing leave me alone? I kept on having to like go into water, like let, like take my hands off of the kayak and risk it twisting. And I think there was an air pocket in there. That's what was really kind of keeping it up and risking that thing going down. But boy, it was brutal. I hit land. No horse land. That's because you got me. <clears throat> Sneaky little bastard. So I hit land. I literally took a shit. Uh, jumped back in the water. You know, whatever. Hygiene. And uh, immediately inventoried everything I had. And uh, by someone, something's... Uh, good graces um, the only thing I lost was a towel um, a safety orange fleece that I had the shotgun wrapped in my binoculars um, and really that's it so um, I had this with me which has obviously been emptied out uh, I took my everything that got wet because this is not uh, waterproof and uh, I had um Jesus I got laying everywhere pardon me I don't mean uh, my law bag from tobacco where I, I use them for uh, dry bags put whatever I need in there you know usually things that I would have to um, get to straight away cell phone cigarettes um, I had my ammo in there, I had a, wrapped up in another plastic bag for me, and I had, um, a bag of shortening, that, um, and the shortening is, like, fat, it's lard, well, it's not lard, it's the lower end of lard, like, it's not as good, like, you're better off using bacon grease, but you scrub down your barrel, all the metal stuffs, and, uh, helps with corrosion, uh, rain, whatever. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, that's really all I lost in the shotgun. The shotgun is not mine. And this video is getting way too long. I guess it just feels good to vent. Like I said, it wasn't as traumatic as it probably sounds, but it definitely sucked. Um, anyone in a situation like that, don't panic. Don't freak out. You know? Start thinking about things that actually matter. Like, how long can I do this? Uh, how long do I have? Because I was freezing, man. I was shaking cold. This is the first thing. First thing I did. Did that power walk around the island? Well, I took shit. Fucking. I pulled out everything. I said, I'm fucking freezing. Cause I was wearing a pair of uh, woodland camo pants, a tank top. And uh, I was soaked head to toe, obviously. So I needed dryness. So I started, I looked in my bag, started pulling out uh, clothes, soaked, 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 soaked. Laid them out in the sun, and then I did the power walk around the island. See exactly what I was up against. Look for anything, 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 anything. Um, I found a bunch of, uh, uh, 
they're like seaweed things, but they're thick and you can eat them. So I was munching on those for a little while. I dried up a little bit. Emptied out the kayak. Straight across back to the other island. Now the tide, because I had been in the water for so long, it's been about two and a half hours around since I had gone over. And uh, I started policing the area to hopefully find the shotgun. Um, I've been running over the scenario 40 trillion times in my head. And I am, uh, I'm really, I'm really hopeful that I can find this thing. And, uh, if not, like I said, like, share this video, let everybody listen to my sob story, let me make money off of YouTube, and buy my buddy a replacement shotgun. Um, that's the most tragic part about it, because boy, I got some memories with that thing. And, uh, maybe another story for another day, but, I'm tired, and I thank you all so much for, if you, if you come this long, leave a comment that says, show me the money, show me the money. And for now, this is Lukey, I'm out, thank you all so much, my handful of subscribers, you know you love my shit, so peace out, there'll be a lot of video game stuff coming up too, because... When I'm not a total outdoor nerd, I'm a video game nerd. So, bye folks, good luck, all the best.